It's all in the energy and I'll get rid of all this. Yeah. So the, the bit we were looking at was we were looking at the start of uh, Shango Kangri Dai, arms going up, thumbs coming in, big circle around. Yeah? That was the first part of it. So what we're looking at that is, is I've lost complete control of the fight, the guy's swinging shots in at me, I've got to do something to get back into it. So my, my default position, my, what I don't, if I don't know what to do, I do this, is as he swings in, I just drop my arms forwards from there. Now, in, in actuality, it's probably already hit me a couple of times there anyway, because I've lost control of it. So while those blows are in, I just fire my hands forwards towards his head. That little wedge, hopefully, clears a path for me. It might, it might not. I might fire the arms up and it might hit me through the gap, but it's the best option I've got. I'm not bothered about protecting my body or anything like that, it's a head I need to protect. Because if that goes, everything else goes with it. Right? So I'll wedge up to protect the head. I also take his head, and I'm going to do it gently now, but right? you know, actually that's a big solid, solid shot. So again, it disorientates it. In the version of the camera I do, the thumbs pull in and then start to move to the side. So the idea there is, because I can't predict which way his head's going to go, Whichever way, if I, as it's gone there, it'll be that thumb that'll catch that eye. But I'll pull both thumbs in anyway, just in case. Because I want him to be doing this as well. I might catch nothing, I might just scratch his forehead, but you know what I mean? It's, it's worth doing, and my arms are moving anyway. And as I move my arms off the side from there, what I'm also doing is I'm starting to feel. As we did in the grappling drill at the start, once I feel an arm, I go, right, that's the arm, I know where that is now. I don't know where that is. It's speed, you know, I can see it in a minute but from feel. So what I do is, and what the cat tells me to do is, says you go to the side of him, or the other side of him. Because the angle always represents the angle you are in relation to your opponent. So I'm just turn point around and stick on that side. So as I start to move the arms, I feel, I feel this. So I don't feel this. Nothing there. So I move away to this side of him. Drop my arm in a straight into his neck. Being that. Having done that, the next bit is, when I've done both sides, he goes, right, okay, come to the centre. If we look at the shoulder cam version, so the cat there by going back on the end percent is now telling me now we're back in line with him when you do this. That arm goes out from there and then I hit. So uh, yeah, we're still on that side, you know, right? So as he swings in his shots from there, through the middle, take out an eye from there, move to the side and strike. What I then do is this arm comes underneath, takes the arm all around here. So I'm going back onto his centre line. When I push that arm, it might drop his head, it might not. The point is, because I know where his wrist and his elbow are, I follow the line and know where his head is. So that gives me that. Follow that line up, or in the camera as soon as he's dropped, but it doesn't matter, wherever he is, I follow the line. I then have my sights locked on, I know where he's headed. So the next thing from there is I can drive him with my next shot. So we're okay with that concept, and that was the basic drill, quickly recap. So he swings in his shot, hand goes to the wheel, take out an eye, move towards what you know and away from what you don't. Strike, move, okay, to this point. Back on the centre line as I do that, from the side, back to centre. Follow the line, boom, that's my first shot. And then you just follow up and do whatever you do normally. So, everyone, okay, if that starts, then we'll add a little bit on. And hopefully, that'll be a nice little reminder for you. We look at that bit, we've gone from there to there, we come in line, so we've got the wrist and the elbow, we follow the line up to the head and we hit. Right? So, that was the basic one. So, that's a basic arm bar on a strike. If we leave that out, right, we've also got uh, here, to here, to here, to here, to there, we've got a whole load of other stuff about controlling that limb. Okay? So, Colin swings in your whatever shot he does. I go in from there, I've taken an eye. When I feel what's going on, I shift towards the side and out. The sideways angle in the counter represents you should be sideways on your opponent. Okay, dead important that you get that. I then whack it the side of the neck. I knew that several times, of course, and I can move on with anything, but if I'm staying with the captain, I then go back on the centre line to here. I have the option of firing the head and whacking. Well, we've done that already, so we're going to kind of miss that bit out and go on the next bit, okay? Because the cat does that, by the way, and we'll look more, more at this in a minute, but it records what I call ands and ors. So sometimes it's saying, do this and this and this. Other times it's saying, do this or this or this. So when I get to there, I have the option of going to find his head and hit him. Right? Or I can take him all the way down, right? which is a prime for your um, soft up your uchi up your uchi or whatever you call it. And then remember, we circle this arm around, making sure I don't lose contact with this elbow. Because if I do, it'll just pop up from there. So I circle around and bring it back up with the actual completion of the block itself. Right? From there, I then grab the wrist. And by the way, this is just it's mapping out options here. You don't do the whole, it's a drill. You can do any or all of it. So I put the arm from there, hooking uh, to there, thumb goes through, snap shut as I go for the body shot. Because I don't know where the head is from here, I've already got a wrist. I then step off to this side to bend the arm, and then I start to get the neck from there. And I just turn the around. And the next thing we did is, Following the cat, when we've done all that, we've got the step up, the turn, and the kick. So that's behind you, so it doesn't mean someone's behind, it means be behind the opponent. So in the way we were drilling it was we grab the elbow from there and we move behind him. 
one of the arm in, you know, if your shoulder cut, you grab the shoulder and side, kick the knee. If the other styles, you do like a drop the elbow and kick the knee. Whatever you do, you drop him down from there, you finish him, and then you back the line. So the full basic drums we're doing it, swings them in, bang them there, move them off the side, one to here, to here, to there, bend here, move the arm, take it down, straight, and then away. Okay? And that, that was what we've done from the start of it. Right, other stuff we can do. That sequence, by the way, it's not a technique, it's a drill. So, for example, I can go find this arm, I can go straight to that pot to bring him up. When he's up like that, that's a great time to take him over. See what I mean? So I can do that one itself. If I'm taking him all the way over, I go from there, that's where I can get straight into my shots again. I don't need to go, well, I've got to follow the cutter. The cutter's just telling you how to manipulate the arm to do all kinds of things. When I've got that initial off to here, when I've done that wedge and gone there, I can go straight into that. Okay? So the colours, it gives you things in sequence, in an order, but you don't have to use them in that order. I would say it's like the alphabet. You learn the alphabet in an order, in the order, A, B, C, D, E, F. But when you apply it, you use whatever's required at any given point. So what we're going to do now is play it. <laughs> so take the uh, sequence we've just done, the basic drill, start to manipulate it and add in your own favourite techniques. Right, so from any given point you go, I know how to take him up, I know how to drag the arm this way, I know how to drag it that way, you know, I know how to pass behind and move in, I know how to lock that way, I know how to find the head, I know how to pop it up, I know how to bend it, bring him down, then find the head, then hit. Once you've got the basics, there's, there's an infinite number of variations. So having got the basic bunkai done, the basic drill done, now it's time to kind of play and see what else you can come up with. Make it yours. So if you're not that one, this is the fun bit, you see, you get creative now, eh? Okay, have a little go on that then. So take the basic drill and have a little play with it. 